You know what's fun? When your trusted Super Nintendo controller suddenly starts working and the buttons no longer respond. Why is this so? Most likely there's just some dirt in the controller and I will today teach you how to fix it. So, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to fix a Super Nintendo controller. Actually, you don't need that many advanced tools. Some people just like to use water. I don't. I'm not a big fan of using water and controllers. I use a rubber or an eraser, depending where you live. I use alcohol. Bit of contact cleaner. And some Q-tips or cotton pads. Now let's get to it. So as you can see, we have the Super Nintendo controller. So first I have a Phillips screwdriver, which I use to unscrew the whole thing. I'm just gonna get my tools ready to see what we can expect. I've already gone ahead and unscrewed the whole device. And so far, I see this button came undone. That's not a problem. The trigger buttons did work last time I checked. So this is the motherboard of the Super Nintendo. Here, just take this out. Just very carefully. Like that. And here you have it. So I can tell that these buttons are incredibly dirty. I'm just going to use some contact cleaner right away. Well, actually, some alcohol should be more than enough. I'm just going to start cleaning it. So let's play some amazing retro music and you can watch me. I mean, you can even take them off if you really want. It's not really necessary to do so. It's up to you if you really want to or not. Oh, it is so dirty, dirty boy. Wow. It's no surprise that the buttons were no longer working properly. No, oh, that did that. And the alcohol I use is 99.9% .9 isoprop isopropanol alcohol. Because the other problem is that the lower percentage will have water in it and you can actually be damaging. You can actually be doing more damage than good. Unless you dry it off completely. So we just want to get those buttons nice and clean. Like so. So because it was the start and the select button that stopped working on this one. And then afterwards I will I will take a Super Nintendo that I have and I will see if my work was good enough. My god, why is this so dirty? Holy crap. I mean you can already see a huge difference just by cleaning it. Okay, now let's tackle the motherboard. I'm gonna put that back in because that fell out. I'll have a look at that one afterwards. There's a pin that goes through here. Well, yeah. You put the pin here like that. So you gotta make sure that hits like that. There you go, that's in. Very simple. But they're very easy to put together. Now, the motherboard. What is going on here? Yeah, so the star button looks pretty much corroded. But we're going to give all the button a proper, a proper clean. So I'm going to take an eraser and I'm going to hit on each contact points with it. And we're going to raise it silly and I have a bad habit. I like to draw my razors. Don't do what I do. So you're just going to do this. Take it here. Clean that. Very easy. I mean, you can, you can see there's a lot of dirt there. Because erasers are very super handy to have. That. Okay. 
And then the bit here, because the buttons did feel a bit dirty. Wow. This, there was a lot of dirt on this. Now, what you can also do afterwards... I want to take some contact cleaner. Just like that. A cloth. And we're just gonna clean it. And you can tell there's a lot of dirt. And no, you won't be damaging the controllers. I mean, these things are solid. And you can and you can tell what a big difference that has done. It's like that. I mean, that's already a huge difference. I could use the cotton padding, but I don't like it when cotton residue is stuck on the controller because that can cause a bit of issues. I just like to do that instead. You can buy these contact cleaners anywhere in the fuel station or if you don't know what I mean, a gas station in the States. Uh, like that. And it's quick drying. I mean, it's quick drying stuff that I have. Like that. I mean, look at that. Looks already like good as new. Looks good as new. Holy crap, that actually did a huge difference. Now, these are for the trigger buttons. They also a bit dirty. Come on. I want to be a bit more careful with this one here. You just want to get all the dirt off because dirt is a very simple uh, dirt. Just make sure that sometimes the connection can be disrupted and then your buttons stop working. I mean, cleaning a Super Nintendo controller, Sega Mega Drive controller is super simple. Like that. I mean, there wasn't really that much to clean. Now, we can see a huge difference after I cleaned it. There's still a bit of dirt, I see. So you can also take some alcohol if you want. I always put it on the Q-tip. You can get a residue with the alcohol. Some people use soap and water, that's also fine. You just have to make sure you dry it, you dry it really well afterwards. And no, I'm not afraid that I'm going to just damage the motherboard with my hands or anything because I was told that these things are really robust, that can handle a lot. There you have it. Now I'm going to just let this settle a bit and I'm going to have a look at these buttons here again. This thing did fall out before. So now I'm going to take the other side with alcohol. I have a very clean desk by the way for this job. And I'm, I'm just going to take a cotton swab here. Cleaning the buttons, because these are the shoulder buttons or trigger buttons. I mean, you can also tell it's really dirty. I do highly recommend to clean them often. You know, keep it clean, keep it good. Because a clean controller is a well-working controller. You don't want it to get dirty. You don't want it to get corroded. Wow. And that's actually why I like to use alcohol instead of water. So if you control if your buttons don't work anymore, this is most likely because of what I said. 
it was too dirty. I mean, let's look how black that is. Dirty! It's so dirty. I'm gonna clean you like I clean my bum bum. Oh yeah, I'm gonna clean you like a turd. Well, please, no, don't clean turds. I mean, you don't, you don't want to polish a turd. that now the screwdrivers I use normally I'll give you a quick shot I got this special little set here by tank tools and I use this because you don't want to use a too big screwdriver you'll damage the screws and then you can't open your controller anymore so the buttons are also dirty, so I'm just going to give them a quick clean. I mean, come on, why is it so dirty? Gosh, this controller has been through hell and back. I mean, of course I could just take it up, I'm just being lazy to be honest. Yeah, that's correct. Hmm. There's no point to... You can also take a toothbrush and clean this as well. With a bucket of water. No, I did that the wrong way around. Red is supposed to go on top. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay, got the dirt off. I'm gonna put the pillow back on. You can even just dump the pillow on in a bucket of water if you want. I mean, there are many ways to go about fixing this. Good. Is that done? Now I want to put this one back in. Very funny. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's a fun thing fitting with these tiny things. I'm not... Where's my button? <laughs> oh no, I'm missing a button. Fuck. In hell. Where did that shitty button go? I'm gonna put this beautiful part back in. That. Put them back. Oh yeah. That feels so much better. Like this. And now we have also a screw to think about. Well, not screw. Let's see. I'm not very patient with these. 
See, it somehow has to go through. There you go. And like that, we did a thing. And that's how you do it. And now I'm gonna put this back on. And this is like the little thank fuck moment. And it shuts perfectly. That means we have done everything correct. And now we have a working Super Nintendo controller. The controller is now one piece. I'll be laughing my ass off. I mean, you can even replace the colors. It really doesn't matter that much. Let's see if it works. Nice alcoholic cleanse. Super Nintendo. In. I'll just have it there so you can see me using the thing. Right, let's have a look. The moment of truth. It works. Oh my god. We fixed the SNES controller. Oh, this place frosty. Bad Mr. Frost versus Blob. I'm bad. You're going down. Round one. Fight. Yeah. All buttons are working fine. <laughs> oh, he did not get me just. I'm not very good in these fighting games, but I'm just here. Oh, I'm dead. Well, thank you all very much for watching me to clean a Super Nintendo controller and to get it work again from death. There was a bit of coffee spill on it and some other stuff, but we got to clean it up. We used alcohol, we used isopropanol 99.9% .9 alcohol, we used contact cleaner and an eraser. And as you can see, the Super Nintendo controller is good as new. If you like what you watch, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and click on the bell. So you get a notification when my next video comes out. I'll catch you guys next time.